I was a huge people watcher. I was also doing the 9-5 commute every day, and I just wanted to have a place where I kind of archive all the crazy, wild, bizarre, funny things that I was seeing. And so I created a website back in 2011 that just basically housed all of this funny content. Shortly after, I created a Facebook page, and then very shortly after that, I created a, uh, an Instagram page. My name is Rick McGuire. I am the founder of Subway Creatures, What is New York, What New York Eats, and What New York Wears. So it had multiple layers to it. Um, that's the best way of wording this. So I just can't imagine walking down the sidewalk and getting shit on by a person. Just when I think I've seen it all, uh, you open those DMs and there is some of the wildest stuff. There was definitely a video that I got for Subway Creatures. A woman uh, taking a shit in between the subway trains. What makes this different from any other video was that this was on one of the elevated platforms. As she's shitting in between the trains, the shit is actually falling down to the people walking on the sidewalk below. From the subway train above, it's gotta be a brutal way to start your day. There's a lot of things that happen where people don't think that anyone's filming them. There's always going to be a camera on you. You just have to kind of assume it at this point. There is a lot of that exhibitionism, if you want to call that, I don't even know if that's a word, but a lot of people having sex just out in the public. There's a lot of police chases, which, you know, there's cars driving up on sidewalks, just not even minding the people there. Uh, a lot of wild stuff that you probably see from uh, Grand Theft Auto, that is real life. Uh, a lot of that stuff is scary, but at the same time, you just can't believe what you're seeing. I had a pretty good feeling that I was onto something. People started sending me videos and photos on the side who I didn't even know, and I was like, this is pretty wild. Again, I was doing this as a hobby, so I was not in this to, to create this huge viral account. You shut your mouth! There it is. All of a sudden, the general media started gaining attention. You know, next thing I know, I'm in the New York Post, the news segments. The brains behind the Instagram account with What is New York and Subway Creatures. Well, look at you, Rick McGuire. Not only just attention around the local media, but national as well. I might be on to something here. That's when I kind of was taking a step back and I was like, whoa. Subway Creatures, I like to use the word celebrates. It celebrates the funny, bizarre, unique, sometimes weird things that happen in the subway, most of the time weird. And it's not just people, it's animals, it's situations, it's incidents. What is New York also celebrates a lot of the wild, bizarre things that happen outside of the subway. On today's episode of Y'all Know What Creases My Uptowns, we are gonna talk about inflation. It could be on the streets, it could be in the park, it could be in the water. Subway Creatures will always be my baby. That was the firstborn, if you want to call it that. However, I do love that there's just such a diverse amount of videos that come in because of that account. I think that I kind of tend to treat that one as the favorite. What New York Eats and What New York Wears are, are fairly new. What New York Eats, needless to say, deals a lot with the food industry. The point of that account is to spotlight the businesses, really highlight the good aspects of a lot of these businesses. Four spots, twenty dollars for five dollars. We got the bacon, egg, and cheese. They ain't fucking around over here. Oh my god! <laughs> now I know. Andrew, you ready? We ready. This is what New York Eats. We are kind of in what some people call the fashion capital of the world. What New York wears was more of the fashion side of things. The goal of the account is to not point and laugh at people. It's to celebrate that people can wear whatever they want in New York City and feel comfortable wearing it and not feel judged by doing so. Taking a step back from New York and seeing the skyline right there is pretty beautiful. I love getting down to whether it's Riverside Park, down to the South Street Seaport, even on the Brooklyn side, Domino Park, Dumbo. There's so much to see down in those areas. And then on top of it, you know, you're on the water, which is really nice. Those are some of my favorite spots to bring people. It can become a little suffocating being in the city. And I love to show them that there's so much more than just high rises and skyscrapers. 